Welcome, friends. Welcome to worship with First United Methodist Church of Santa Monica. We are grateful for your presence, whether online or in person. May we be one community as we worship, serve, and pray together. Many of us come to worship with hearts full and minds busy. I invite you to take a few deep breaths to welcome God's presence, bringing the fullness of who we are into worship and beloved community. If you are joining us for the first time, we count it as a blessing. There is a link in this video and a sign-in book in the back to help you get connected or come talk to one of the pastors. We look forward to getting to know you. We continue through the season of Epiphany, a reminder that the light of Christ has been given to us and God goes with us as we journey on. As the prelude begins, let us turn our hearts and attention to the worship of God.
please join together in the call to worship. From the waters of creation, the earth sprang out. From the waters of a womb, a blessed Savior is born to us. From the waters of a river, people were baptized and marked as God's children. Praise be to God, whose loving gifts and presence have called us together. be seated. We take time to celebrate our mission and common life together by lifting up ways we can love God and our neighbors through worship, prayer, and service. Coming this Wednesday is our January midweek recital. The online recital will feature Laurent Jochum on the organ. It's at 12 10 p.m. on Wednesday, January 11th. You won't want to miss this wonderful performance. Open Space Young Adult Group will gather on Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. Meetup will start the promenade at Stefano's Pizza and then walk to Ice Santa Monica for some fun winter skating together. Reach out to Tricia for questions or to get connected. Then, on Saturday, come gather at the park. Open to all of the church community. Bring a blanket or chair, check out the farmer's market, and kids can play on the playground. The meetup is this Saturday, January 14th, from 9 to 11 a.m. at Virginia Park. Trisha and her family are excited to see you there. This week in Santa Monica, the Martin Luther King Jr. Westside Coalition will present several events celebrating Martin Luther King Jr. Day, including a community involvement fair, a Santa Monica Symphony Orchestra performance, and a virtual film festival. The national holiday celebration will take place on Monday the 16th at John Adams Middle School Performing Arts Center at 9 a.m. Festivities include music and dance and the keynote speaker, Dr. Ben Chavez, Jr. Check out the details of upcoming events and more in the order of worship and the homepage of the website or stop by the web welcome table following worship and visit with staff member David Penson if you have any questions. We give thanks for God's creating spirit that gives us life and leads us forward. Thanks be to God. Our gospel reading this morning is from the book of Matthew, chapter 3 verses 13 through 17. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John would have prevented him saying, I need to be baptized by you. And do you come to me? But Jesus answered him, let it be so now, for it is proper for us in this way to fulfill all the righteousness. Then he consented. And when Jesus had been baptized, just as he came up from the water, suddenly the heavens were opened to him and he saw the spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, this is my son beloved with whom I am well pleased. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. The leap each year from Epiphany to the baptism of Jesus is always something of a shock to our awareness. For weeks we've been basking in the stories of the birth of the Christ child, and today he was fast forwarded into a young man, being baptized by John in the River Jordan. In the blink of an eye, years have passed. 
But isn't that how parents and grandparents describe their own children and grandchildren? A babe, a toddler, a teen, an adult, moving at lightning speed through this wonderful experience of life. And how blessed we are, all of us, to renew our baptismal vows this morning. This annual service gives us the opportunity to pause again at the beginning of this new year and focus on who we are, who we really are, and who we hope to become in the sight of God and as members of this community, the church. And it gives us a chance to remember that in our baptism, God calls us, each and every one, names us, claims us, gifts us, and empowers us to be the person God is creating us to be as a beloved child of God. The author Kathleen Norris noted that to the earliest Christians, the baptism of Jesus, the story found in all the Gospels, was as important as Christmas itself. Important because it indicates, as she wrote, that the incarnation, God made flesh, is not only about Jesus and what God is revealing to us in Jesus, but about us. It demonstrates to Christians not only what God is like, but also who God wishes us to be. And do we not all feel the need of renewal? Do we not long for the Holy Spirit to stoop low and take us by the hand and lift us up to our feet? all the while whispering assurances of ever-present love and immeasurable strength. We participate in baptismal renewal to remember the significance of our baptism. We come to feel the water on our foreheads, the sign and the seal of God's presence and power still in our lives, still available to us, with just as much potency as ever, with just as much life-changing potential as ever. In baptism, God calls us as God's own, each of us, precious, beloved, and trusted, and upheld by God. In our baptism, God trusts us with the name Child of God, so that knowing ourselves to be special and loved, we can share that love with all whom we meet. In our baptism, God sends the Holy Spirit to anoint us with caring, and compassion. In our baptism, God sends the Holy Spirit to empower us to spend our lives on others. The service of baptismal renewal creates a moment for all that and more. For we remember that baptism is not a one-time thing, not a one and done. Instead, our life in Christ has been described as layers of epiphanies, an intriguing phrase that reminds us that God's Spirit watches over us again and again throughout our lives to heal, cleanse, renew, and restore us. God created each of us with an inherent desire to make a difference. Baptism is about who God is and who God wishes us to be in this world and for this world. 
about the kind of person God creates us to be, a person who embodies in our own way, in our own life, in our own family, in our own work, in our own circle of friends, a child of God who embodies the marks of the kingdom. Compassion, justice, generosity, caring. We are set free in our baptism, in the words of St. Augustine, to trust the past to God's mercy, the present to God's love, and the future to God's providence. As we move towards baptismal renewal this morning, I'm going to, in first, in a few moments, invite our ushers to come forward to receive our tithes and offerings. This weekly giving of our financial gifts for the work of the church is a reminder of just how blessed we are and how much of ourselves we are called to give in return. And after the prayers as the offering is received, I'd also like you to take out the index card that was in your order of worship this morning and write on it clearly the name with which you were baptized. That is what we call your Christian name, first and middle. And bring your card forward when you come to renew your baptismal vows. I will read from these, collect them in a basket, and then place them all on the altar table this morning as a symbol of the rededication of our lives to God this day. For those worshiping in person today, today feel free to wear a mask as you come forward if you are more comfortable doing so. And if you're not comfortable coming forward, be sure to find the basket of baptismal shells in the narthex as you leave worship and take one with you. And for all who are worshiping online, I invite you to simply dip your fingers into a bowl of water and touch your forehead, giving thanks and remembering your baptism. May God renew and convict us this day that as the new year begins, we resolve to be the hope and to let God's love flow through us, new life for each and every one of us, new life for our nation and our world. Let us open our hearts and minds and spirits and lives to the ever-living power of our God. Amen.
silence now, let us listen for the voice of God, calling us by name, naming us beloved child of God. Let us pray. Generous and loving God, you sent your beloved child, Jesus, to live among us as one of us. As your beloved son embraced his mission in the waters of baptism, inspire us with your spirit, immerse us in your grace, and raise us to live our baptismal vows empowered by the Holy Spirit and the example of Christ. Guide us to embody your love and reconciliation towards one another and the whole of creation. We pray for wisdom and courage for local, national, and global leaders so that they may make decisions and take action for the common good that moves us closer to a world of peace through justice. We offer our prayers for one another and all those things we carry on our hearts. We pray for comfort and strength for Alan Walker, and Jim Smith. Sustain each beloved in need of your healing presence. Ever creating God, we offer these prayers and all the prayers of our hearts through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us when we pray together to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. We take time for the offering of our gifts. Through your generosity, our diverse community at every age level is provided a place to learn and grow in God's un unconditional love. In a moment, the ushers will come forward to receive the offering. 
If you're a new visitor and you'd like to connect and get more information about First UMC, you can fill out a Let's Connect card found in the pew rack and place it in the offering plate. There are many ways to connect and give. For those worshiping online, you will find a link to our secure giving page in the description of this video. You can also mail your donation to the church or drop it off in our office any day of the week. We thank you for your support in the work of the church. Through this act of faith, the Spirit of God touches our hearts and, li and lives to live out the love of God in all we do.
Please join together in the unison prayer of dedication. We give you thanks, O God. May our offerings honor you. May our lives reflect your mercy. May our hands bestow on others the blessings we have received. Amen. You may be seated. As we come to the time now of baptismal renewal, after asking you the following questions, I will invite the choir to come forward first, and after the choir has received and are back in their seats, uh, we'll then invite you to come forward um, as you wish for renewal of baptismal vows, bringing your card with you. Thank you. So I ask you, in the presence of God, will you turn away from the powers of sin and death? Will you proclaim the good news and live as disciples of Jesus Christ on earth? Will you let the Spirit use you as living witnesses to the gospel wherever you are and in all that you do? Remember that you are baptized and rejoice.
We commit ourselves individually and as a community to the way of Christ, to take up the cross, to seek abundant life for all humanity, to struggle for peace with justice and freedom, to risk ourselves in faith, hope, and love, praying that God's kingdom may come. Let us walk in the way that leads to life. Amen. Will you stand to receive the benediction? In baptism, we are all God's children. You are the beloved, and the Holy Spirit rests upon you. Go forth to serve God and your neighbor in all that you do. Amen. Amen.